Hello, I'm uh, Michael Nagler with the Meta Center for Nonviolence, and I want to tell you about one of the richest uh, and most fascinating experiments that was carried out in animal behavior around the subject of aggression and nonviolence. This uh, was done by Professor Franz de Waal, who is a really famous primatologist and has been considered one of the most distinguished scientists uh, of our age. So it concerns two uh, species of monkeys, they are both uh, macaques, the first being rhesus, a name that you're probably familiar with. Uh, rhesus monkeys are, as these pictures somewhat tongue-in-cheek suggest, but they do give a right impression, rhesus monkeys are rather aggressive. They fight a lot, they don't have good ways of reconciling after they fight, they just sulk, uh, and so forth. Whereas stumptail monkeys, you see a little bit about them here. They are bigger and solidly built, but interestingly enough, from the nonviolence point of view, we would say naturally enough, they are more peaceable animals. They are less aggressive. They have lots of ways of reconciling. So Professor Duwal wanted to test what would happen if we put a bunch of juvenile stumptail monkeys in with a bunch of rhesus monkeys. According to our old standard beliefs, the rhesus monkeys would overwhelm the stumptail monkeys because they were more aggressive. They'd get more food, they'd edge them out of territories, and so forth. So the first thing that happened was the rhesus were rather puzzled uh, when they got over their nervousness because the stumptails were bigger. They, of course, tried to press the advantage and be aggressive and they were quite puzzled by the fact that the stumptail monkeys would not give in, but not fight back. They, we can imagine they had never encountered this kind of behavior, which sounds a lot like what happens in a human interaction with somebody who's violent and is startled when a nonviolent person refuses to fight back, refuses to hate him as a person, but refuses to give in. So in some cases, the stump tail will be sitting on a branch, the rhesus tries to uh, get him off. The stump tail would actually, in the end, get, you know, hold out a finger and say, go ahead, bite my finger, but I'm not moving. So uh, to the amazement of Professor Duwal and his colleagues, in a short period of time, the rhesus monkeys actually adopted the culture of the stump tails. So this was his main interest in the experiment, that social culture can uh, override uh, the culture of a particular group. Uh, and I would like to add to that that the nonviolent culture was more powerful than the violent culture, if we could characterize them that way. You would have thought that the influence would go exactly the other way around, but it did not. The peaceable animals, converted, if you will, the more aggressive animals to their way of being. So then the next part of the experiment was to take the stump tails back out and see how long it would take for the rhesus to revert to their bad old, bad old ways. And the amazing result again was that they did not. So you have the complete uh, spectrum of the dynamics of nonviolent uh, response. You're capable of violence, but you don't use it. You neither give in nor fight back uh, when threatened. And then the amazing additional result that the peaceable culture, nonviolent culture, is robust. It's, it is sustained after the influencing process. This is something we had already expect, expected from game theory but it was very interesting to see it actually carried out uh, with these animals.